Hello, recently I read about the Dragon Curve Fractal, which inspired me to investigate its potential for the design of musical patterns, such as rhythms, melodies, but also for chord progression design in orchestral composition. You'll see and hear examples in this tutorial. In this video tutorial you'll meet the Dragon Curve Fractal and learn how to use its properties for the design of musical patterns. We look at the end step turn sequence and apply this to create rhythmic patterns, synthesizer sounds and a short orchestral composition. All concepts are illustrated with audio examples. In a recent interview Professor Donald Knuth was asked what's your favorite fractal? Knuth is a computer programming genius, author of the book series The Art of Computer Programming and the creator of the Tech Computer Typesetting System, which I have been using over many years for all my books and documents. In answer to the question, Donald Knuth replied, well, it has to be the Dragon Curve, which you see here in the image where four Dragon Curves fill the two-dimensional space. I'll demonstrate how to construct this fractal pattern. The well-known approach is to take a paper strip, fold it at the center and then unfold it until you have reached a 90 degrees angle. That's the level 1 curve, with a single fold and moving from left to right you'll see a right turn. By repeating the folding at the center process we reach level 2 with 3 folds and the turn sequence has become RRL. Just follow the arrows in the image. The center fold is marked with a red R. As is typical for a fractal, we may repeat this iterative process at a more detailed level, thus obtaining levels 3 and higher, with an increasing length turn sequence. At level 4 we observe the first appearance of a closed rectangle, with a series of 3 right turns. We stop the iterations at level 6, with a 63 element turn sequence. With appropriate positioning and rotation, four dragon curves will fill the two-dimensional plane, as we saw earlier. Let's study the dragon curve turn sequence properties in more detail. The length at iteration level n is 2, n-1 plus 1 elements, an odd number. The sequence always starts with a right turn. At each higher iteration level we add an r at the end, then mirror the original series while swapping L and R. The result shows that all sequences have more right than left turns. There will never be more than 3 R's or L's in the sequence, as the curve never crosses itself. You may discern sub-patterns in the sequence, such as RRL, RLL or RRLL. Since the Dragon Curve Fractal has the self-scaling property, these subgroups and patterns will reappear, more frequently at the higher iteration levels with longer sequences. When I saw these RL sequences, I immediately noticed the similarity with MIDI keyboard finger drumming exercises, involving two hands, and that is what inspired me to create this tutorial. Before we proceed with Dragon Curve based musical pattern design, we'll look at the Schillinger system context. In a generalization approach, the Dragon Curve turn sequence will be applied in both rhythm, melody and harmony domain. These same subjects are covered in the first five Schillinger system books, although with a different starting point. We'll use concepts from the theory of rhythm in the time domain application. The Dragon Curve may also be applied in the pitch and melody domain. And our final example will involve application in the harmony domain for the creation of a chord progression. Now let's actually create musical patterns from the fractal turn sequence, starting with the time domain and the design of rhythms. The first example is a beating pattern for a pair of bongos. The dragon curve fractal turn sequence is shown at the top right. At any iteration level we may read the turns as a constant duration beating pattern, that is, all notes are equally long, here an 8th note. We observe bongo phrases with increasing length. The self-scaling property, with its returning subgroups and small-scale pattern repeats, has musical development character, which is a most useful and interesting property. Listen to an audio rendering of this Latin rhythm.
Alternatively, we use these constant duration beating patterns for a combination of hi-hat and right cymbal. We start with level 1 and continue with levels 2 to 5, but you may create your own sequence of iteration levels. The phrases with 1, 3, 7, 15 and 31 attacks once again demonstrate the development character. In the third example we apply variable duration to the two turn types, right and left. The analogy in the Schillinger system is the interference process that generates rhythms from two clocks that tick at different time intervals. In his Theory of Rhythm, for which I wrote a guide ebook available in the webshop, Schillinger presents various long-short duration ratios. These combinations yield different rhythms and these may be grouped into measures by overlaying a time signature. If you try these same duration ratios in the dragon curve turn sequence, you will find that not all of them make sense in a regular meter context and therefore those are less suitable for most popular music. Some combinations will work though and I'll show two examples. The short long duration rock toms rhythm in this example uses duration values 1T for R and 2T for L, where the time unit T is the 16th note. The phrases start with an upbeat, which works best here in the regular 4-4 time signature. As we saw before, phrase length increases at higher dragon curve iteration levels and more and more syncopated notes appear. This example presents a toms beating pattern with long short duration. We map right and left turns to the two toms with duration 3T for the right turn and the left turn duration is 2 time units. Here the time unit is the 8th note. The level 2 beating pattern RRL starting on the downbeat is the overused 3T plus 3T plus 2T rhythm in popular and epic film music. My example is simple, juxtaposing level 1 to 4, but feel free to use other combinations of the various levels and create more interesting rhythms with subtle development character. The Dragon Curve Fractal Turn sequence may also be used in synthesizer sound design. The pattern length at levels 3 to 5 make them highly suitable for implementation in analog or digital n step sequences, where n is 8, 16 or 32. Now I'll demonstrate three sound design examples based on this idea. The Native Instruments Massive Synthesizer has a 16 step performance module. The level 4 turn sequence has been implemented in this sequencer, which is then modulating the oscillator amplitudes and the filter settings for cutoff frequency and resonance. We hear a pulsating low frequency noisy and gnarly sound. The Arturia ARP 2600 software synth also has a 16 step sequencer module, where I applied the 15 step level 4 turn sequence to the sequencer switches and slider settings. These modulate the oscillator pitch values and the VCA. I added a random sequence length feature by connecting a sample hold process output to the sequencer stop switch. Thus we obtain unpredictable variable length sequences of a pitch modulated noisy sound.
an equivalent effect can be achieved with the function modules in the Arturia Pigments synthesizer. The image shows the implementation of the level 4 turn sequence for function 1. But in function 2 the left turns steps are activated with the right turns set at 0. Both functions modulate the wavetable engine parameters and the filter settings. The steps, like in the native instruments Massive, may contain slopes and gradients and we hear the modulation of two sustained chords with industrial sound. Things will become more complicated in the final example, where I use the Dragon Curve turn sequence in multiple domains in parallel. The Grand Staff shows the draft resulting from applying the turn sequence to the chord progression design, the melodic material and the rhythmic patterns. I'll discuss the score details. The first mapping is from the turn sequence to the harmony system, shown in the bottom staff. A right turn means there is a chord progression in the Schillinger diatonic harmony system with both chord root and structure based on a 7 pitch diatonic scale, while the left turn implies the diatonic symmetric system, where the chord structure is independent from the root, the latter still adhering to the diatonic context. Chord durations are 2 time units for R and 4 time units for L, the quarter note being the time unit. So we see half note diatonic chords interspersed with whole note duration diatonic symmetric chords. The complete chord progression moves through dragon curve iteration levels 1 to 4 with the now familiar increasing phrase length. Also root movement is based on the turn sequence. Using the Schillinger root cycle concept the mapping is as follows. A right turn leads to a root movement R3 down a diatonic third while the left turn implies R7, a 7th down, or equivalently, the root moving up by a diatonic step. We use positive root cycles only. The starting key is D minor modal. I'll indicate the Riemannian transformations, the chromatic medians that occur in this chord progression. In the diatonic symmetric harmony sections we see a single chord or two chords in case of LL. We choose the first chord as major, the second as dominant seventh. Doing the mapping calculations you will obtain the chord progression D minor, then at level 2 D minor, B flat major, G major, followed by A minor, F major, D major, E flat major, etc. at level 3. In the four part setting we use root and inversion position chords preparation and resolution of the dissonant chordal function 7 and maximize smooth and stepwise voice leading. Listen to this chord progression, which still contains occasional weak spots. Note the different character of the diatonic versus diatonic symmetric sections, the overall floating harmony and the occurrence of Riemannian chromatic medians as a consequence of the mixed harmony systems. The melodic material shown in the upper staff is the result of mapping the dragon curve turn sequence in the rhythm and pitch domain. Both melody and counter melody use a short long mapping with duration ratio 1 time unit for the right turn and 2 time units for a left turn. The time unit is the 8th note for the melody and a diminution form with time unit 16th note for the counter melody. Melodic phrases move through the fractal iteration levels and back, 
with the longest phrases and most syncopated rhythms in the middle. I also mapped the turn sequence to the pitch domain. With R mapped to the chord root and L to the chordal function 3. However, I found the result boring and instead decided on embellishing the melody with passing tones, appoggiaturas and extra leaps. I did my best to control the counterpoint but could not completely avoid parallel motion. Listen to the two melodic parts in isolation. Combined with the harmony, the full sketch is... The orchestration is for 4 woodwinds, 10 brass instruments, strings and percussion. There is annotation that shows local cadences and key centers, and virtual instrument details. I think the final example nicely demonstrates that the process, that is the mapping of the Dragon Curve fractal turn sequence to musical parameters, which seems like a formalistic mathematical process, may turn out meaningful music with internal consistency and development character. The fractal self-scaling property was demonstrated in the time, pitch and harmony domain. The turn sequence may also be used in synthesizer sound design. I used several Schillinger system concepts, such as the various harmony systems and the root cycle patterns for designing a chord progression. Hopefully the audio examples will inspire you to also try your hand at the Dragon Curve Fractal in music composition. Dear viewers, please subscribe to the channel, where I share many free ideas and techniques for music creation. However, you may support my tutorial production efforts with a PayPal donation follow the link in the description. Go to the website for more documents and the ebooks in the webshop. Thanks for watching.